Hey, 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 Bible Activities for Kids family. I want to welcome you again. We are episode number four, and we have a wonderful story today. It comes from Genesis 11, 1 to 9. I want you to grab your mom or dad, grab your Bible, and we are going to read together Genesis 11, 1 to 9. Okay, and today we are reading from the New King James Version, and it says, Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, and they found a plain in the land of Shinar, that they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar, and they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built, and the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language and this is what they begin to do now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them come let us go down there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech so the lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth and they ceased building the city therefore its name is called babel because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Now, boys and girls, we see from this story that there are several lessons that we can learn. And also, if you wondered why there's so much language, languages, that's why. That's right. You're so smart. That's why we've got so many languages in the world. So I might say to you, bonjour, or konnichiwa, and, and I'll then, say, hello. Right. Or I say, hola. And I'll say, hello. <laughs> or might say, what a go on, man. And they'll say, huh? <laughs> right. You might not understand what I'm saying because those are all the different languages of the earth. And this is how it all happened. Everybody used to speak one language, but then the people had this bright idea that they were going to build a tall tower so that if there was ever a flood, they would not die. But this was being rebellious, meaning this was in disobedience to God because God had told them that they were to spread out across the world. They weren't supposed to just all gather together in one place. So when they decided to make this tower, they were going against God. And when we disobey God, boys and girls, there is always a consequence. And so God says, well, if you are not listening, then I'm going to confuse your language. And this lets us know how powerful God is. Because God just came down and the person who used to understand the next one couldn't understand them anymore. One said, bring me the hammer. And instead of the hammer, the other person thought it was, bring me the mortar. And everybody was confused. Like, what was going on? And when one person said, give me the bricks, and the person thought that they said, give me the water. <laughs> right. And so it was a really, really bad situation. And that's how this happened, where in every one who spoke like the same languages, they started to group together and they moved to one part of the world. And that's how people, we have people all over the world speaking different languages. Now, this is an important lesson to us that we should not try to be gods, right? God has a plan for each of us and God has told us what he would want us to do. And he is the sovereign and the almighty God. So even though God wants us to be creative and to think of new things we can do, he doesn't want us to do things that go in opposition, that go against, that are disobedient to what he would have us to do.
And so that's the major lesson I want you to learn this week, that God is the sovereign God. God is the almighty God, and he is in charge. He has good plans for your life, and I want to encourage you to follow God's plan for your life instead of trying to do your own thing and going in a direction that God does not want you to go to. Remember, God loves you, boys and girls, and he has great plans for you. So stick with God's plan. I want to thank you for joining us for this week where we spoke about the Tower of Babel. And I want to invite you to join us next time for our next episode. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.